Welcome to the Roofing Estimator Pro web-based seminar. <clears throat> Today uh, we've got a great show scheduled. This is uh, Portland, Maine, as you know. It's a little cold up here, but wherever you guys are coming from, we uh, appreciate you coming in today. We're going to get started with four segments today. I've got four powerful segments. They all start with the software training. And we've gone through the software and added some really great workbooks that are included. Go ahead and write any information down you might have about the work workbooks. If you have some questions, write them down. We'll get into that afterwards. Also, in the first segment, we're going to go through software. We added some new templates that are really powerful. And uh, my software engineer, the reason I'm late today is because I had to go over and, and uh, get the video, upload it, and get it all set and ready to go. So today we're going to go through the first segment, which is the software training. Then we're going to go through, we're going to do some things on the online marketing. Then after lunch, we're going to come back, we're going to break, and we're going to go over the, uh, the video marketing, which is incredible. If you guys have never made videos, I'm going to show you exactly how we make videos online using the iPad and to be able to create videos on your iPad with iMovie, uh, and be able to edit the videos, it's incredible. That's uh, one of the other segments. The last one's gonna be the sales training. This is where we're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you all the stuff on sales training we've developed. And uh, you know, this is my first seminar, so bear with me a little bit. We're just getting things set up and I'm excited to be here. But thank you for showing up today and taking your time on a Saturday. We're gonna get started with the software training workbook. What is Roofing Estimator Pro? It's a virtual roofing office. Everything's online. And you have a 100% web-based application. It's hosted on an Amazon EC2 server. What that is, it's the fastest cloud servers on the internet. Amazon's huge. They do billions of dollars a year in products. And they're backing up their servers every couple hours. The enterprise class roofing software, this, has, this really is a powerful system. It's a CMS, a customer management system. I don't know if you ever used a customer management system, but it, it's developed all inside. Frank, is there any chance you could turn the heat down sure. and put the AC on? It's including the global filing storage, which included in the software. Everything, if you guys have anything you want to scan and upload to your system, go ahead and scan it, pump it up to the system, and you can keep storage right on side. It's a fully integrated estimating platform. It's uh, access to your system with mobile applications. This is an incredible system with the mobile apps. You guys are working on the road, you can take pictures with your videos and everything and upload it right to the system. It's an awesome way to build your estimates quickly, but everything is all integrated in the Roofing Estimator Pro software. Now, uh, some information about what I put in for the action steps. Like I said, in the workbook, there's areas where you can write down questions, and we can go over that at the end of the segment. Basically, when you get your system, you'll log in. You'll have the setup where you set up your company information. Add all the information about your company, your terms and conditions, all the users that you have in the system all will go inside and this is all like wrapped up into the into the network and again the action steps are right there right down yeah, we'll go over that afterwards <coughs> excuse me the complete management system why use a customer management system it keeps track of all your customers in one information database it automatically saves your customer information so auto automatically it's going to re re recalculate put everything in you don't lose any data Sometimes you get too many people working different systems, you lose the information. The customer notes will keep everybody up to date constantly. The calendars for all the schedule and appointments. You'll be able to have separate calendars for each of your sales guys and also the users and any of the things that upload the files and scan documents. This is what the management system does. It keeps track of everything. It keeps track of your job photos and your customer files. So take pictures and read label them bring them into the system and it, it all is all keeps track of everything. It's great. Uh, the QuickBooks integrator, if you're using QuickBooks, you link the software in the database all together. It pulls all the data over, sets it all up, and uh, you're able to keep that all in one system instead of having multiple going. Now, again, the customer management system, the action steps, we add the information, the photos, the jobs, just some questions to ask yourself. You know, have you, ever, you added new customers with the software, add an appointment with the software, adding new photos with the mobile apps. It's great, um, you know, it, it really makes a big difference when you keep everything in one system. It, it just, it streamlines the process, saves you time, makes you more money. And again, just write the information down if you have any questions. The fully integrated database application. Why does, what does fully integrated mean to you? It, all the system modules are connected. The appointment calendar for each of the users, 
the complete estimating platform, the job schedule and calendar, sales and reporting dashboard, and we're making that more, we're building a more dynamic graphic information dashboard as well for the sales, uh, the product and suppliers, and a built-in email system. So all your system information, when you have your customer and you go to the send an email, it sends them estimates, all the information to keep in touch, all built into that, that integrated database. Now the information again, we'll go through with the action steps, you get the data reports and the sales, and you know, if you've imported customer information, it's so much easier having a second integration. You bring all that stuff in, and just questions to ask, you know, whatever you might be thinking about for uh, asking about the customer data. How can, you re how can REP help your business? It saves you time by re-entry in the data. Of course, all the companies that today, we've got many people online working different platforms. This will save a lot of, lot of your time re-entry. All your appointments are entered online using a website. We link the websites to the software. So all of the things that come in, customers are online, they're searching about you, checking stuff out. The best thing is with the software and our web-based web integration, we link it all together. So all the information goes right in. We link it to the software. It's great. You can create and print estimate sheets. Once the customer information's in, they put the information in. They send an email to your customer and also goes into your, your company information. Your office can print these. Uh, create contracts, prepent, uh, create and print contracts, create and print work orders, create print invoices to your customer, and it's all tied up in the brand new segment that we have today is our own custom template editor. A lot of guys are asking for being able to create their own templates. We set up this whole editor, customized it, so you can bring all your information in and create your own templates. It's great. Guys that are doing insurance claims, water damage, hail damage, you'll be able to create your own templates to help you with your business. Now again, this time, time is money, multiple software programs, entering data uh, over and over again, the forms, the print, all this stuff is great. So this is going to help you how to improve your business and uh, save you time and money. Now the viral, the virtual roofing office, what is a virtual roofing office? Ability to access your files. I'm going to slow down a little bit. I get a little excited about what I'm doing. So I'll get a uh, virtual roofing office. The ability to access your files from any, anywhere online. You'll log, get your username and password and log in. Work remotely from any location. You know, you can be at home, use call forwarding with any cell phone, ties everything together. The office people can work from home. You know, you can have people working at home and, you know, single moms, it's great. They can be taking the calls for you and book the estimates. The ability to work from mobile applications, this is incredible. I mean, everybody's working mobile today, the iPhones, the iPads, so it's, it's great. Using the online phone system, like Ring Central, that's what we use. We can send the faxes and everything through the same phone line. It's, it's really good to integrate all this. And the REP software in your website is basically your virtual office. That, everything's all tied together and this, this makes a huge difference and saves you so much time and, and energy uh, instead of you know, having everyone paying for the bricks and mortar buildings. Uh, the phone, software, and the website. All these are basically all you need with a cell phone and call forwarding. I mean, you bring it all together, use the software programs, link it to your mobile apps, and build the websites. The biggest important things is your website, it has to be laid out correctly. And make sure you use the websites to build trust and make your customer comfortable and they like the information. So you want to really stre always stress on that website. Have a great website. You, this is how your customers perceive you. Virtual office, the information. If you have any questions, write them down. We'll go over this afterwards. Now, access, access to your system with mobile apps. You know, how does a mobile app work? You download the REP mobile app. Go ahead and enter your login credentials. That'll get you right inside of the software. We added some of the most key components in the app, mobile app so you'll be able to access the, the best components for, you, for your company. Excuse me. Open the calendar to view your schedule. That's great to have it on your finger with you at all times. Access your customer contact information. Add photos from your mobile devices, iPhone, iPad. Create an estimate form with your mobile device. Add your customer appointments or notes. Now, when you're on the road, somebody wants, has a problem or question, you know, and you need to write that down instead of being driving, just add them to the notes. 
And, if, and again, if your office has something about that client, they can write notes and, and bring that in as well. And we just talked about the access to the mobile apps. You get the mobile app and the notes. These are great works together. Basically like text editing, you know, sending text, text messaging. Ever download a mobile app? Use REP application, using a mobile tablet for running your business. Everything's on the tablets today. And again, just write down any questions you might have. Now setting up your company setup. You know, you basically go into the software. This is, I'm gonna, I've got a screenshot on the back side. We'll go through and I'll show you. You set up the company information. You click on the company tab, add your company name, add your company address, adding the company phone number, adding your website address, add your email address, and then customize your terms and conditions. You guys will all have different terms and conditions inside, so you, you know, with the lawyer stuff. Add your logo and add your phone number to the logo. That's important because we didn't have the phone number module set up, and now you can customize your contracts, but I always put my logo in the uh, phone number in the logo. It makes, it's easier to read. And again, this is what the screenshot with the software looks like. We've got the company name, the address, all the information, the city, town, phone and fax, website, email. And then there's three different terms that we have, the acceptance terms, job terms, and then the, uh, the estimate terms and the company logo. So all these are right here. You can, these are a text editor, so you can change all the text, format it the way you like, and it'll be on the back of your contract. There's things you can add and, and customize, but that's, uh, that's the first step. Adding the supplier, it's very similar. Go into the setup, supplier, setting up your supplier's name, and again, the address, the town and city, and then the supplier phone and fax, adding supplier email address, and the supplier terms, and then click the save buttons on all these so that way it saves everything. And the screenshot of the supplier, we've got the ID and everything, we set it up at ABC, we've got the uh, address, city, town, it's great, it keeps track of everything. Go through email address, set up terms, and the product information, we preload the software automatically, but you'll be able to customize any of these you know, make them yours and, and you know, put your own terms in. We fill it with some content just to make sure you give it something, something to go by so it'll help you along. <laughs> Excuse me. Action steps, if you have anything, any questions about that, you know, we'll go through that. Adding the products is a little different. We set up tabs, we hit the products, select your product supplier, suppo so, uh, choose a product category, set up the categories for like drip edge, shingles, ice and water shield or whatever you're using for your, your category and the products. Add the product description. Go ahead and add the detail costing. We have it broken down a percentage, or you can do it by a fixed price where they fill up the unit of measurements, the unit pricing. And of course, you select the units of measurements, some divided by the square foot, some by each. Upload the photo image, that's great. You can add all your different product images, that, that's very helpful. Supplier again. You've got the product category, the SKU, or, the, or whatever you're using for, I do the hashtag landmark roofing. I use that for my mobile. I, that's a little like a ninja tactic. I use the hashtag and then a list of the different products so when I'm on my mobile, I can click through those pretty quick. The description, we've got that all set up inside. Uh, you know, just everything you do on the, on, the, on the roof install. And the detail costing, again, you can have the material labor breakdown. And then the unit cost, you can do it by the profit percentage, add all that in there as well. And we've got all the components in place. We're going to have detailed reporting coming in down the road that's going to help you a lot with some extra detail reports. Guys are asking for some stuff. I'm working on it now. Unit of measurement that can be each per unit, square footage, whatever piece you want. And again, that list of images, you can have different images with the Atlantic Blue. We just put that in as a template. So it all ties together. And again, you have the QuickBooks integration link over here. I mean, you hit that, it integrates with the QuickBooks when you have that second software up and running. Setting up a user, very simple. Go to the Setup tab, click on Users, add the customer username, go through and put their password in, set up the first and last name, and the user email address. This is important to make sure because any estimate that the guy, your, one of your sales guys is using and they send it from, it sends it from that email address. So they'll reply back to that as well. Add your user permission roles, advanced, admin, and all your basic user. Click on the active tab, make sure, and if a guy, if a salesperson isn't working for you, just unclick that and they're off the system. Hit the save button and the user's set up. 
And again, here's a little screenshot of what goes on there. Uh, username, password, confirm twice, and then go into the last and first, email address, and the user role. You've got the three choices on that. And again, that's that active button. As long as they're active, they're in the system. And the admin or the owner can change these automatically, so you guys have the ability to do that, of course. Uh, adding users, questions, write down any information that will help you. Now, setting up the edit template, uh, this is the email system. The built-in email system, we're making it better and better for you guys, but it's, right now it's great. We use it all the time. Uh, click on the Setup tab with the letters. That's what we call it. Click on the Letter Templates. There's a few in there already, but you can create your own email templates by doing this. We call them letters. Maybe we'll change that, but that's what we put on there. Add a template. Edit a template. You can edit the box. It'll bring everything up, and I've got a screenshot afterwards with all your emails that are in there. Add a subject as required. Add a template name and category. So as you make a new template, you make a new tame, uh, name and category. And hit the Save button, and that's all set up. And this is the template editor for the email system. Uh, it has a merge field, so we've got like 25 different merge fields. So like customer name with a double, double arrow and then the customer name. That'll put, pull the information, whatever you have on your customer name, put it right in there. Your company information will go in as well. Type in in between these areas what you want to say in your email. You've got a subject line, and of course you have these template names if you have special templates. And they'll load everything up, hit save, and uh, send it, and, it's, and off it goes. So it's all into one system. It's really powerful. Uh, we're having great success with the emails. I, I like that. Now adding a pick list. The pick list, what that is, it's a list of all the things inside the system. Uh, click on the list name, what you'd like to edit. Add a new record. You could add new list names. Add a name to your record. Real simple. I'll show you on the screenshot on the next slide. Add a description. Insert the button. Fill on the required fields. We have the little red star and the required fields. You've got to enter the data. Make sure to click the edit. Edit the pencil. There's a little spot there you can click on that. And then click the update button. And here's what I'm talking about. We go to the setup, and these are all the things we just went over. The pick list, you've got all the units of measurements, event types, note types, payment terms, job status, status, product categories, letters, roof rolls, usernames, all that stuff. And here's that little edit pencil. These things, are the, they'll edit the current ones that are in there. But that's overall selection of the uh, different co company information setup. Adding the pick list. Now the setup configuration. Click on the tab, Configuration. This is a little more. I'm going right through it to give you guys some good info if you have any questions. Some people have questions about this. Adding the email server. You can customize and put your own email server. We have it all set up, so it's going to be automatically. It goes sets it from your, email, from your email that you have. But it runs to our servers. But you can change that out. The system will send emails out automatically. You can add emails to the server information. Like I said, you can put your own from your own hosting if you want to do that. Click on the QuickBooks integration and select the data to synchronize with the system. You know, that saves so much time and that software, that component that links it all together is really, it's dynamic. It takes a little setup for a second to get the right password in place, but once you get it, it's, it's, it's real easy to use. Hit the save button, then connect. Everything gets set up. And again, here's a little screenshot of the configuration. You have the system modules, the email server, and the QuickBooks integrator. That's what the integrator looks like. It's a separate software piece that we have that brings it in. It's all secure. It's 128-bit encryption. It's just like a banker type encryption. You got the vendors, the items list, and the customers. You can bulk load the information. Saves a lot of time. A lot of guys use QuickBooks. People have asked why we don't have our own financial software. It's because QuickBooks has the best. And everybody uses it. A lot of your accountants use it. And that's, uh, it's a great, great setup. Now, the action steps go through that as well. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and play this video. I'm going to show you the new editor, the software engineer. This is why I was running behind today, because I wanted to make sure you guys took a look at that. And after that, I'll answer a couple of questions. That should load up. In this quick video, we're going to take a look at the new template editor module for the Roofing Estimator Pro version 2.1 upgrade. What you see here is a new screen that is designed for end users to be able to make their own custom templates or reports for their customers' documents 
in the Roofing Estimator Pro system. The screen is laid out into three different sections as you can see here across the top. We have the toolbox area, the template design area in the middle, and the property section over on the right. In the toolbox section we have different tools that can be used to be dragged onto the design surface. This section is set up into two areas. We have the sections of a template that you'll create and also the tools that you'll use within an individual section on a report that you create. So the first one we'll look at is the page header section. This particular section type when dragged onto the report surface will create a page header section in your document and you can size this accordingly but this will be printed at the top of every single page of the template that you create for your customer. The next section you may have is a report header which is printed on the first page underneath the page header but is only printed on the first page of your template so you could have different information come into that section and then you have the details section and that's where things such as your product items go or customer appointment details or what have you. It depends. It's the details section of the report. We have a footer which goes at the end of the report and then a page footer that also goes at the bottom of every page. These five different sections control the pieces of output of your template and the structure of your document. So to start, we'll look at this page header section and I will size it appropriately for two inches. You'll see over on the side and the top there are rulers to help guide you with the size of your page and you'll notice that this is an eight and a half inch wide ruler on the top and then the bottom ruler goes down to 11 inches. Inside the design surface there's also a grid of lines to help you guide your selections as you drag them and move them across the design area. So to start out we can drag some elements up into the top of our page header. So let's just say that we want to put an image onto the top of the design surface. We just drag it over and then we'll have our image object. Now we may also want to have our company address so I'll bring an address block over and that address block is going to take predefined information from your customer file that you use this template for and will either take your company data if it's a company address or will take the customer's address if it's a customer address. So we can configure this just by double clicking the item and there's some basic appearance settings as to where it lies on the document if it has a border or colors or anything like that but the address type is either customer or company so I'm gonna change this one to be a company address and then I'll hit save. So now I have a company address here. Okay, so now that I've configured that as a company address, I'll go ahead and go into the image and I'll double click on that and that will allow me to actually choose a picture that I can upload from the hard drive and I can go get a picture and upload it and then at that point I can choose to use that picture and then I have that picture on my document. So now I've got a logo, an address, I can move them around appropriately. I can also add fields and labels to the document. So for instance here's a couple of fields. Here's a label one and another one and maybe this label I want to be estimate date and I can save that and this one I want to be say estimate number and then I can take and use a database merge field here. What this type of tool is going to do is allow me to choose a specific field from the database that I want to show up here. And I'll make another one of those here. So what I'll do is I'll choose these and I'll make them point to the estimates date field and the estimates number field. Now you'll notice that these uh, particular items are a little bit out of alignment. The one that's highlighted in blue, I can actually hold down the control key on the keyboard and hit the down arrow and you'll see that it starts to move one pixel at a time into place. And then I can just click on the top one and do the same thing with that one. If I want more movement than just one pixel at a time, I can use the shift key for five pixels at a time, which will allow me greater movement. And so now I've got those lined up properly. I can also put a line onto my design surface. And let's see, I'll move this stuff around a little bit. Um, I don't really like that picture. It's a little too big. So maybe I'll find one a little bit smaller. I'll try to find one that's a little bit smaller. There's a smaller logo. Okay, that's better. Okay, so now that I've got the logo, I can center it over the picture using the keyboard movements over the company address. And I can take and put a, bit, a label in here, and I'll change this one to have a large font. I'll call it Estimate 
highlight it, put it in bold, choose a different font size and style and color, and this will be printed at the top of every one of the pages for the estimate. Then in the report header section, I'll put another address block in, but this one will be just the customer's address. So I'll configure this one as a customer address. And then the next thing I'll do is to configure a, maybe on this one I'd also add a couple more fields over here for their phone number and their email address, let's say. So I'll put the fields over there and then I'll put the labels and this one will be phone number and I'll make one more. Now when you're out on the design surface you can also use keyboard shortcuts to duplicate an element. So if I have this one highlighted and I hit Control alt r for replicate you will see that it makes a separate copy of that label. Then I can use my control key and get the alignment just where I want it. Or I can drag it with the mouse as well. Okay, and then the second one can be email address. Now, the next section of the document is the details section. So I'm going to put a grid in here that will represent the product details. So I'll just drag this over and what will happen is when this grid, when this template is used for a given customer's estimate or job, the details of that specific job will be merged in and will replace this, this grid here. And then finally in the bottom section I'm going to assign some pre-built text and what would go here is a pre-built piece of text, for instance, from your company data setup, such as your terms and conditions for your estimate or your job, or it could even be a job description or payment terms as they're defined within an individual estimate or job. You would choose those settings inside the advanced configuration for the pre-built text. So at this point I've laid out the basic elements for a estimate template to be used for customers. And I can have a look at what this will look like. I can save it or I can get a PDF print preview. So I'll go ahead and do a P PDF print preview and we can have a look at what this estimate will look like. So then the PDF downloads and we can open it up and have a look and you can see that this is a PDF copy of the template that we have just made. So as you can see it's pretty straightforward to drag and drop sections onto the document and you can also configure different items into the sections by dragging them over and then double clicking on them to open up the properties window and set the individual properties like width, height, color, font size, background color, the types of uh, elements that these will be. For instance, the addresses. We have a company address and a customer address, both using the address block. We had our image that we customized. We made a larger font out of a label. We had a couple of different labels here and some database merge fields that will come in. This one's going to be the estimate date, this one the estimate number, this the customer's phone number and the customer's email address. Down here we had a predefined product grid uh, that will have the items from the estimate of the job or the job. We also have another couple of types of grids, one for a grid of customer photos and one for a grid of product photos as you would see in the standard estimate and job contracts that print from the Roofing Estimator Pro system. We also have the pre-built text templates that come from existing areas, either the company set up your terms and conditions or in the individual job or estimate, the payment terms or the job description or things of that nature. So hopefully you can see the flexibility of what you can do. You have a design surface here that you can create a layout that looks the way you would like it to look to present to your customers and then you can save this template and you'll be able to use it with your customer estimates and jobs and appointments. You'll be able to print and merge in the data for those specific customers with this document template in the future. Do you guys have any questions about the, uh, the software so far? One of the questions I have is uh, the in... Uh, yeah, hold on a second. Let me come over because we're videotaping. Let's, uh, let's get you on here. Okay, tell us your name and where you're from. Okay, tell us your name and where you're from. Uh, Scott Pratt, Toledo, Ohio. Okay, Scott, what's your question? Uh, QuickBooks Integrator. How does, does it, what does it integrate into the QuickBooks? Basically what it is, it's your own separate software you'll download onto your computer. You'll be able to open that software program and what that is, it's a bridge to the software itself. So it links the two, the, the REP and the integrated together and then you're able to ability by adding your username and password to link your QuickBooks once you have it open on your computer. It's like a, it's like a security grid right. between the two systems. Okay, so when it, when it crosses over it's going to give you the product, everything into QuickBooks so it's not just the name and the address. Yeah, well, you, well like I said in the last field, let me see if I can pull that back up. Basically what it does, let me go back to that. So inside the information you'll be able to upload your vendors, 
the items list of your QuickBooks, and also the customers. So you can bring all those separate components over. Yeah, yeah, it's great. It, and you can do it by group batch as well. We have 250 because when you merge the data, it, it need, sometimes if you put 1,000 units, it, pull, it takes a while, but the 250 keeps pumping it right over. It works awesome. Are there any other questions? Well, I think Scott's got a couple more here. You, another one? Okay, so when it, when it crosses over, it's going to give you the product, everything into QuickBooks, so it's not just the name and the address. Yeah, when you go on here to the file, there's going to be another import and export data. I didn't actually put it on that one as well, but you can go to the file, and there's two modules there for import and export and information, so it makes it easy, CSV. Yeah. Okay. You Thank you, Scott. Scott. I do. Go ahead, keep going. Right. Yeah. That's probably the same. Uh, I, iPad and or tablet? Yeah. Yeah, well, it's, we have the Google, Google Play and we have the iPad. So either one of those, and most of those work on Samsungs or any type of uh, Windows tablets. More? Anybody else have any questions? Thanks. I'll come right over. Great, thank you. All right, Dave.